welcome back to my channel. So today's video is part three of this room transformation. I am excited to be starting on this part because I feel like this is the this is the time where the room really starts to look transformed. Paint makes a huge difference and that is what I'm working on this week. I also wanted to remind you if you are new here and you want to see the full transformation start to finish, I have already posted part one and part two of this video series and I will have those videos linked below. But last week I left off with pulling up all these peel and stick tiles and then I started with priming this wood. Now, originally last week when I started painting, I purchased the Kilts brand paint and primer mix and I was under the impression that that would kill any existing mold. Um, there was a few boards that had some super old water damage and I wanted to just be safe and paint over it and hopefully kill if there was any mold there. So I did want to clarify that the areas that I thought could possibly be mold were some of the darker wood areas and it was really hard to tell if it was just stained wood or if it was mold so that's why I decided to try to find a mold killing primer and I ended up finding this Zenser I think is how you say it mold killing primer it was recommended to me by my sister-in-law so that's what I'm going to use today and I also found um or not found <laughs> I bought some paint to paint the walls and I ended up going with repost gray and I will share that later on in the video so I'm going to go ahead and take this mold killing primer right over top of that kilts white paint. Um, and this had great coverage actually. It really did a great job. So I was able to just do a total of three coats. Basically there's like three primers on here total, but I did one coat of the kilts paint and primer mix, this Zenser mold killing primer, and then I went back over it with that kilts um, paint and primer mix. So technically three primers but it took three coats to cover all this wood. So you may be thinking at this moment, why is she painting so sloppy? Like, why is she not even trying? <laughs> and I have a reason. So I planned on doing all the cutting in with the wall paint instead, just because I knew that these um, boards at the top were going to need a few coats. And instead of me trying to be super precise, I figured you might as well just slap it on there and, you know, get it nice and coated. And then you can do all the, you know, really fine lines later on with the wall paint. So I decided I was just gonna like paint the ceiling to save some money. Look at that. That is crazy. Yikes. So right there in that last clip, you heard me say I decided to paint the ceiling to save money. And what I meant by that was originally I was going to try and replace the ceiling tiles, but turns out replacing them would be a pretty penny. And I decided, you know what, let me just try to roll on the paint and just do it gently. That way I don't push up the ceiling tiles and it worked and they look brand new. So while this looks like it's an easy task, like just paint the ceiling, you know, it doesn't seem that hard. It is exhausting, <laughs> absolutely exhausting. If you want to get a workout, paint your ceiling. <laughs> My arms are going to be sore for the next week. I will say though, it was totally worth the hard work because number one, it saved me a ton of money going this route. And this is my, this is the number one thing I could suggest to any of you if you were trying to do a makeover in any space, paint. Paint makes a huge difference. I mean, just the ceiling alone, repainting it and giving a fresh coat of white paint, it just looked so nice and clean. 
And that alone transformed the space, especially in person. Like I can show you a pan over on camera and you wouldn't really notice, but if you were standing in the room before I painted it uh, white, you would see all that yellowing and how just old and dingy it looked. And now it just looks like a brand new ceiling. So throughout this project, I have jumped here and there and everywhere. And it's just because, you know, I'm just working with what I have, the time that I have, and I decided to go ahead and replace this old air unit and put the new one up there in the ceiling. And whenever it was stuck, basically what they did was they put the air unit in and then they framed around the air unit. So we ended up having to cut the wood. It was a complete nightmare. So we ended up having to get some reinforcements in there. Um, so my cousin came in and helped out. So I really appreciated that. So as soon as they were done pulling out the old one, they put the new one in and we will end up framing that off a little bit later. But while they, while it was still daylight, they went for a ride through the woods and stuff and I continued to work on painting. Okay, so my original plan was not to paint this closet. I really wanted to leave it original, but the more and more I looked at it, the more I just couldn't figure out how I was going to tie all the other wood tones together and make it look all cohesive. So I decided to go ahead and paint it, and I'm so happy I did. It really brightened up the room, and it doesn't look as dark and gloomy now. It just looks so much more updated, but to leave that you know, original feel. I decided to leave the door as is, and I will be staining that just a hair darker, but I'm going to try my best to leave th at least the door original. So I'm going to show you how to load your caulking gun and how to use caulk to fill seams because this is so important. This makes such a huge difference. And I'm doing this now because um, when I do my final paint, I want everything to match. And sometimes this will kind of dry a little yellowish. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now and then paint. If I need to touch up any areas, I'll touch them up later. But what you're going to need is a caulking gun. Um, so this is... It actually comes like this. Whenever you buy it, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look dirty like mine. I'm just messy, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. And what you do is you push this little tab right here and pull this back. And that is how you're going to load it. So you're just going to slide this in there, pop it in like that. And then you're going to pull the trigger like this and it tightens. Once you push it enough, it'll start flowing out. So just be careful. Um, I do cut mine before I put it in here, obviously. That's just personal preference. You can do whatever you want. You can put it in here. I wouldn't recommend tightening it and then cutting it because while you're cutting, it's gonna flow. So I personally like to just cut mine a little bit first. And I cut mine, let me show you, at an angle. Y'all see that? That, like a tiny little angle I just like it this way so I can really get it into the creases and I only cut a tiny bit off whenever you are doing it you're gonna want to just keep it along the you're gonna like press it into the wall but as soon as you stop make sure you hit this button and pull this back a little bit if you don't it'll just continue to pour out and be super messy so there you go and then what you do is just take whatever's on your finger and wipe it off. Another tip I have for you is use a baby wipe to wipe it clean instead of your finger. So basically you're just gonna put a baby wipe over top of your finger and then rub the seam and it just makes it really smooth but just keeps your fingers from getting all dirty, especially if you have longer nails, that will help you a ton. They also sell a tool that's specifically made for caulking. You can buy it from like any hardware store. Um, or you could just wear gloves and use your finger. It's totally personal preference. I personally 
cannot do this with gloves on. I feel like I make more of a mess that way. It's just easier if I just use my finger. And I've been doing it like this for years and years. I am no um, a beginner when it comes to doing this. I used to do this in my mobile home. There was a ton of gaps and cracks all the time just from the trailer settling and stuff. So I used to do this exact thing all over my old house. But don't forget to make sure that it's paintable or you will have a mess on your hands and I just want to help you avoid that. So always check to make sure that your caulk is white and that it's paintable. All right, so it is the end of the night. I have not made that much, well, I mean, I've made a lot of progress. It might not look like it, but I've put in a ton of work today, painting the ceiling and then going ahead and painting the closet, painting all the trim on the bottom again with a second coat of white. I've just been super busy. Plus, I had a lot of cleanup to do. But I'm going to call it a night and hopefully pick up where I left off tomorrow. So it is the next day. We are going to run to Ollie's and check out the flooring that they have for the room. Um, so a lot needs to be done, but I did just notice online that their sale said that they had flooring on um, like a blowout discounted price or whatever. So we're going to go check it out and see if I can find some cheap flooring. Um, the room is 180 square feet and or square foot, square feet, whatever, same thing. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can get enough flooring for a decent price to finish up the floors. So here at Ollie's, I hit the jackpot. They had so many beautiful options for flooring and they were budget friendly, which is right up my alley. So these cases run about $21 to $25 and they cover 21 to 26 square foot. So that's not bad at all. If you are in the market for wood laminate flooring, I highly recommend checking out Ollie's if you have one in your area. But I found an even cheaper option. Back in the back of the store, they had these huge rolls of vinyl, and I found this beautiful wood look for only $100. So I will complete the entire floor for 100 bucks. I just got up here to drop off this roll of linoleum that I bought. It's vinyl. Um, let me see, what does it say? It's premium pre-cut vinyl and it is a 12 by 15 foot. It doesn't have the color though, which is really weird, but this is what they look like. Super, super pretty. I cannot wait to lay it. It's gonna look so, so nice. But first, I have to finish up painting. So I'm gonna be up here tomorrow morning trying to paint as much as I can to go ahead and knock all that out. Um, but I've made amazing progress and I'm really happy with the work I was able to get done this weekend. Right, so it is a brand new day. I have painted another coat of white on the closet. I did the ceiling again and the wood trim, so it's all white. Um, the final coat finally covered a lot. A lot of the yellow was coming through still from like the cedar, I think it's cedar wood, I don't know what it is, but anyway, the yellow was coming through. So that final coat covered, so hopefully nothing else seeps through, I'll be angry. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the walls. And I decided to go with repost gray. I decided to go with repost gray because it's a very neutral color. Um, it'll go with any of the decor I choose. And yeah, I just thought it would be nice to try it out. I've never painted with repost gray. In my home, I have agreeable gray that I love, but it does pull a little bit more warm toned than what repost gray pulls. So we're gonna try it out and I'll let you know what I think.
cars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, no. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel the light. My first impression of this paint was that it was painting on a little bit more beige than I thought it would. I had looked at so many pictures and videos and in their videos it looked just pure gray and on this video it does look gray but in person as I was painting it on it's like a very light beige but it does dry a like a lot darker than it paints on so just keep that in mind it might not look right at first but as it dries it starts to turn into a really pretty color and I love it however even if I didn't love it I had already bought it and I would make it work regardless because you can't return paint once it's already opened and once you've already started using it, obviously, so I was going to make it work regardless, but it ended up being a beautiful color, and I feel like it really brightened up the space, and it just, you know, it made a huge difference. All right, so at this point, I'm almost done with this first wall, and I was loving the color. You can see right here how bright it is with the right lighting. The lighting kind of goes in and out a little bit just because I was using a lamp on the floor. <laughs> it's not the best, but, you know, I'm just working with what I got. And um, I'm almost done with this wall, but you can see right there to the right-hand side, my son is painting. And sometimes y'all ask me how I keep my kids busy whenever I'm working on projects, and that's how I do it. I get them busy. I have them working on something that I feel comfortable with them doing. At that point, I was done with that white paint that was in the pan, so I figured he could just use what was left and prime that wall for me. <laughs> so he's working on that and having a blast while doing it, so I was able to get this other painting done. And my kids are pretty good. If I tell them to stay in a certain area, they usually listen. It's very rare if they just kind of start painting random things, so... I honestly think it's just because I have let them paint with me for so long. They know that mom means business. So if I say, like, only paint this wall, usually they um, they stay right there. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's a quick little overview of what I was able to get done today. I didn't finish all the walls. I still have some painting to finish up in part four where I will be finishing up painting, hopefully finishing up all the caulking and filling the seams, maybe some trim work around the windows. Stay tuned for that. And I will also be installing the flooring. So I cannot wait to share next week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.